Squirrel Attack, a game that I am absolutely terrible at. And there's a lot of stuff that I need to get better at. But I was wondering, is it possible to get better at the game using a cosmetic? Well, that's what I'm going to be trying today because I found a cosmetic that is incredibly useful. I cannot see anything right now. You might be thinking, Fooch, how on earth does this help you get better at the game? What I'm thinking is the blindfold will make you get better at situations where you're at a disadvantage. So without the blindfold, you're more confident and will play better. So to put this theory to the test, I've given myself these five challenges that I have to do. Starting off with challenge one, be last in a competitive lobby. For reference, this is how much I can see. So it's not a lot at all. But before that, I have to get into my master disguise. Hello. Now I'm equipped in my sparkling and spiffy combo, it's time to get into the challenge. This is gonna be so bad. For your guys' sake, I'm gonna have it on third person so you don't have to see my terrible POV. Okay, wait, let's see if I can tag this guy. No, no way, I got him. Wait, I'm gonna get this guy. No. He's breaking my ankles. <laughs> no. <laughs> How can I not get it? At this point, there was only one guy left, so I just had to tag him, and then the round would restart. Boom, the round restarted, and I instantly went to go and hide. I feel way too vulnerable here. I'm gonna go and hide somewhere else. I decided that it would probably be better if I run around and try and use my skill to avoid the lava monkeys. Oh no, there's a lava monkey coming. Oh no, no, no. Just go, just go, no, no. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Running is the only thing that I'm good at. At this point, things were going great. I wasn't under any pressure, hadn't been tagged, and was just running around in open space. But then, this happened. I'm just running as fast as I can. Oh, there's a lava monkey! Okay, oh, get jukes! Get jukes! Oh! <laughs> get jukes! No! Wait, I was last! I was last, let's go! With challenge one complete, I moved on to the second challenge. I have to do a full loop of the beach zip lines. This would prove to be the hardest challenge yet. Okay, this is my first attempt, so no expectations. Go, oh my gosh. Bruh. Okay, attempt two. Oh my gosh, this is so- oh my, I suck so much. This was proving to be very difficult, but as this graph shows, as time- Keys. And that's hard enough without a blindfold. How am I gonna do it with one? But before we get into it, I gotta gear up. Now I'm ready. I joined my first lobby and instantly got straight into the action. There was only one person left, but there was a problem. No one could find them. It almost seemed like they were using mods. I went and checked the one place that I thought they could be, but as I found there was no one there, the round restarted. I instantly went to go and find someone to juke. I found this one guy, but as I tried to juke him, I got tagged. This is so hard to do, man. There's one thing I haven't done, though. Ah, Fooch, I've been expecting you. Hello, Gorilla464. Master, I'm facing some really tough challenges right now, and no matter how hard I try, I just can't complete them. What do I do? <laughs> so, Fooch, you've forgotten when you were just a small monkey. I used to teach you something very important. In times of difficulty, utilize your body and your strong arms, for it makes your soul strong. Thank you, Master, for your wise words. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, with Gorilla464's advice, I'm now ready for the challenge. I put on my blindfold and instantly got to work. And not long after, the jukes started to flow in. One juke. Oh my gosh! Two jukes. Oh! Three jukes. Get juked! Oh my gosh! Four jukes. Oh my goodness, just one more left. And finally, after ages of juking, five jukes. 
Let's go. That's five jukes. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. But the next challenge might be even harder. I have to find a ghost. This is going to be really hard, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Okay, the first kill I'm going to join is Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in. I'm a studio house. Wait, what is that? I don't think it's a ghost, but it's creepy how it's just sat there playing the weird sounds. I didn't think much of it, so I decided to leave. But then, disaster struck. First of all, every code that I tried to join next was full. This includes PvV, Echo, Statue, Surround 17, Surround 18. Every code you can think of was full. I wasn't going to give up, but what stopped me even more was my game. It was insanely laggy. It might have been because I was playing on Air Link, but it was just ridiculous. I'm going to say I completed that challenge because I technically found a ghost to the start, and it was basically impossible to complete the challenge after that. And when the lag settled down for a little bit, I decided to move on to challenge 5. I have to get everyone to subscribe. Bro, this is going to be impossible. Subscribe, please subscribe.